This is Mr. Kaufman from High Five History with an instructional video going over how to make clear and strong connections in your argumentative writing. So to get started, connections are when you put your ideas together and you show your reader right, how they fit together and that you take those big ideas and connect it clearly to your thesis. Well, what you want to think about and keep this in mind as you're writing is you want to imagine your reader not being very smart. Right? They don't really know too much about your topic, and they're not going to be able to understand the ideas unless you clearly lay it out for them. Right? If you keep this in mind as you're writing, right, it makes sure, right, it helps you to make sure that you are actually doing a nice job. So, connection is the key. Um, we start off with our thesis statement, right, the heart, soul, direction of our argumentative essay. And we know that our thesis needs to be supported by the big ideas. Now, our big ideas are going to be broken up into our different body paragraphs. Now, each big idea right, needs to be supportive of your thesis. It needs to connect to your thesis, right? So Rome fell for several reasons, right? Well, Rome fell, one, because the empire was too spread out. So notice how my big idea right, is connecting the idea of the thesis that Rome fell for many reasons, and it's making it clear. Now again, your big idea is supported with reasons why. Right? These are your supporting details. And of course, these supporting details must connect to your big idea. Right? The details need to be clearly connected. Right? Rome was so spread out. Right? Well, it took generals a long time to talk because Rome was so spread out. Right? Because Rome was so spread out, the borders were hard to defend. All right, so see how, again, I'm connecting it back to the big idea. And then finally, right, you need some evidence. All right, so Rome was so spread out, it was hard to communicate. That's why Rome fell. Specifically, it would take generals up to two weeks to communicate. And by that point, enemies would be too close. Therefore, Rome was too spread out, and therefore Rome fell. Now, obviously, I'm being a little bit facetious, meaning I'm being a little sarcastic on how much you should connect it. But the idea right, is that you should be making it very clear to your reader. Um, let's see what this looks like in an already written paragraph. Now, most of the paragraph has already been um, diagrammed for you. Let me make myself disappear so you can see it. Um, big idea, supporting the thesis, again, is up in there in yellow. Your supporting details explains your big idea. And then over at the bottom, right, I have this connecting uh, sentence, which I like to put in there, again, to make it very clear. Right, all these problems that are laid out in the middle and uh, top of the paragraph, right, these problems in leadership are what led Rome to disaster. Right, that's what's written down in red at the bottom. Right, that's my connection. Right, again, I'm saying that all these supporting details are connected to my big idea. So there you have it. Right, Mr. Kaufman, High Five History showing you why connecting your ideas are important. So remember, connect, connect, connect. 